What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we're going to be looking at our top 10 favorite combat mods for the 1.16.5 version of Minecraft. These mods are all compatible with Forge and change the combat system of Minecraft in some way. If you enjoyed today's video be sure to drop a like down below and if you're new to the channel definitely be sure to subscribe. We have a ton of Minecraft content including other mod videos and we look at a lot of mega bases. As you can see here in the Just Enough Items menu, we have a lot of new items to look at today, so let's jump right into it. First up today, we have the Mr. Crayfish's Gun Mod. This mod adds a lot of new weapons to the game, all of which are guns and explosive. We have new grenades, new bazookas, snipers, heavy rifles, machine guns, and a lot more. This mod is very fun to use, and you can build all of these with the workbench right on the right. This is definitely going to take you a lot of iron and other materials, so you're probably going to want an iron farm in order to build these things. Other than that, there is a very simple to use attachments menu where you can add a scope, silencer, or even an underbarrel attachment. The animations for this mod are incredible, and you can see at very long distances with the new scopes, and these weapons actually do a lot of damage. You may have recently seen a video where we used this mod to fight the wither boss and we took him out in about 10 seconds so it was very quick and shows how powerful these weapons are. Next up today we have the extra bows mod and what this does it includes variants from stone to the electric bow with a diamond, emerald, gold, and iron bow in the middle and all of these have different uh, properties, they have different damage and durability. This mod also includes a lot of upgrades to the bows. Two of the ones I'll be showing off today are the Meteor and the Bridge upgrades, but there's also the Pearl upgrade, the Flying upgrade, and the Health upgrade. The Meteor upgrade, which you can see here, drops a Meteor from about 30 blocks after you fire the arrow. This is going to destroy blocks, so be careful about using it around your base. And, as you can see, the Emerald Bow is actually killing these mobs before the meteor even hits so you can see its damage is definitely very increased from where it was before. The coolest upgrade in this mod for me is the bridge upgrade however. What this does is it follows the arrow's path and it creates a bridge for you to walk across. This is going to be extremely useful in the nether or maybe if you're mining and trying to go across some lava this is going to be the perfect upgrade for you because you'll easily be able to travel across these blocks now. This mod adds a lot of new content to the game and is definitely going to be very fun to play around with and experiment with the new bows and other new items that it is introduced to the game. Next up we have the Spartan Weaponry mod and this mod adds a ton of new content including a lot of new weapons, new ores, and a lot of new enchantments. So there's definitely going to be a lot to explore with this game and especially trying to figure out what weapons do the most damage and what you like best. There's new katanas, hammers, clubs, bows, great swords, and a lot more. One of my favorite items from this new mod though is the throwing knife. There's some new enchantments as well including Razor's Edge, Incendiary, Lucky Throw, and Hydrodynamic. These enchantments are going to help you a lot in a lot of different situations and you're going to have to figure out what you like to do with them best. Here we can see the throwing knife in action. You're able to load up and throw it and it does a very good amount of damage. It also drops right to the ground after you throw it, so it'll be very easy for you to pick up, and it does have a very decent amount of durability. Next up is the Classic Combat mod, and this mod is a return to how combat was long before in Minecraft where we didn't have to wait for cooldowns and we could attack as fast as we wanted. This is great if you're just trying to get a small little improvement to combat, or really like the old style of combat in Minecraft. It is definitely a lot of fun to use and makes it way easier to attack mobs. So I definitely prefer using this mod over the vanilla uh, features and this is something that I use in my own modded worlds. Next up we have another small change to the combat systems of Minecraft and this is the Swing Through Grass mod. We've showed this off before but it is a very useful mod and allows you to swing through grass so you no longer hit those grass blocks. This is very useful if you're in a plains biome or just have tall grass around your base and you need to hit creepers or anything else that is trying to attack you. Next up we have the more ores, armor, and tools mod which adds a lot of new armor and tool variants including a lot of new ores which you can find while mining. Some of these are copper, platinum, and silver but there are a few more 
and definitely will add a lot of variety to your game. Most of these are in between iron and diamond, but some of them are actually worse than iron and you'll be able to see all the statistics in the actual game. This is a great mod with a very vanilla feel to it, so it's not going to change your game too much, but it'll add some new things for you to find underground, as well as some new variants of armor that you can wear at any point in your game. Some of the new ores that are going to be very helpful are the silver and platinum ones, while some like lead are going to do a lot less damage, and so is copper. Definitely a lot to explore with this mod, and it'll definitely be very fun to play around with in your own survival worlds. Of course, this mod, like many others, includes copper, which you can see here, and so that's going to change greatly in the next update when we actually have copper in vanilla Minecraft. A great mod to pair with this, as well as any other armor mod, is the cosmetic armor mod. So as you can see here, I'm wearing a bunch of the different armors shown in the last mod, but those are not the actual properties of armor that I'm wearing. Cosmetic armor allows you to wear the best armor possible, including diamond or netherite enchanted armor, and then you can add armor that you actually want to look like you're wearing. So here I have a platinum helmet, copper chestplate, 10 leggings, and lead boots, and that's what it looks like I am wearing. This also pairs great with the sophisticated backpack mod, because you can add the backpack into your cosmetic chestplate, and it won't take up any of your actual inventory room. So keep your Minecraft character looking good, and not like he's wearing just plain old netherite armor when you could be wearing absolutely anything. It's also a great way to trick your friends and make them think you're wearing something simple like leather armor when in actuality you have full netherite. Next up we have another smaller mod and this is the passive shields mod. This mod is essential for me to play with because I hate being able to see my shield when it's on the screen, but I do actually have a shield here and I can pull it up at any time I want. It just changes the graphics features so you can't see it on your screen all the time. It also changes a few small features of the damage that it takes when you're not holding it up, and it'll now absorb about a third of the damage before you pick up the shield all the way. So this is going to be really helpful in hardcore worlds and things like that where you need to take just a little less damage in order to survive. If you hate being able to see the shield on your screen, this is the perfect mod for you. Next up we have Tetra, and this mod changes a lot of features about Minecraft. As you can see here, we have a completely new workbench, which you can change any of the existing parts of your sword with some new materials. These are going to include pristine diamond, pristine lapis, and a lot of other materials which are included in this mod. As you can see here, in order to upgrade the guard or the pommel, you're going to need materials, and you can change every part about the look and durability of your blade. This is going to change how your blade actually attacks mobs and it's going to change the damage actually done by your blade. There's a lot of customization that you can do with this mod and it's definitely going to take some time to learn. Also, when you back out of the UI, you're going to be able to see your sword still on the table until you actually take it out, so this does add a cool little feature to the game which can make some cool decoration in your base. Last up, but definitely not least, we have the offhand combat mod, and all this is going to do is add the ability for you to dual wield weapons in Minecraft. This is super useful for attacking mobs, and you can swing two swords at once or uh, use them back, to, back and forth so that they do more damage to mobs. This is just a lot of fun to use, and definitely a cool little feature to add to the game. That is all that we have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to drop a like down below, and let me know if you have any other mods that you'd like for us to show off. If you're new to the channel, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of different Minecraft content, and you're going to enjoy a lot of our stuff, so check us out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.